This section is going to cover the water system on the four wheel campers. This is your outside door for filling. There's a couple of different components in here. Cap with an empty hole here to fill your water system. And this side is if you want city water. If you want unlimited water source from your campsite, you can take a, the garden hose that's hooked to a water supply, put a pressure regulator on the end of the hose. I'll just twist on there. And then you'll hook that up to the camper system here. The end of this will swivel so you can twist it down and tighten it up. This system here is designed for continuous water use from an outside water source. If you hook this hose up to this fitting here, it will not fill the water tank. The only way to fill the water tank in the camper is to use the regular hose to fill this. You just stick it in there, turn the water on and let it fill up. It'll take about three or four minutes to actually fill this tank. And we're going to do that. We're going to go through the full system, show you how to fill it, flush it, purge it, and run it. Turn your water supply on, and then you can actually fill this up right here. This usually takes four or five minutes because you're taking a small hose and filling a 20 gallon water tank and a six gallon hot water tank if you have that option. If we're going out camping, we usually fill the camper with a non-toxic, the white garden hose. It's an RV hose that's part of the ready to go anywhere package. It's non-toxic, but for demonstration purposes here in the, the shop, we're just using a regular garden hose. So we fast forwarded, it's been about four or five minutes and you can see when your water tank gets full, the water is just going to start coming out there, which is no big deal. That means 20 gallons is full. I'll put the cap back on. Covers on that side. I'll close it and I'll lock it. The second part of the water system, probably the most important part for, for getting it going, once you have your water tank full outside, which we just completed, open your kitchen cabinets water pump system here. We've done different water lines over the years, but typically on this side, the left side, the water line going up and down is your hot water supply. So you want to make sure this line is open. If this thing is turned sideways, it's closed. It's closing the valve and it's in line straight up and down. It means the, va the valve is open and water is able to flow. So you want your hot water supply open. And down here in the corner, usually on the bottom, right, you have another valve. You want that valve closed. So it's, it's, if this is the water line, you want your valve closing that. This is your low point water tank drain for winterizing it. So if you're finished with your camper for the season, winter's coming, and you want to drain your hot water system, you open this valve down here. So it's in line, you'll hear your hot water tank drain. It'll drain into the 20 gallon freshwater tank. But for general use, for your system to work properly, this valve for the hot water needs to be open, straight in line, and the lower valve needs to be closed. Then from there, you can turn on your water pump and we'll purge the sink next. If you want to turn your hot water heater on, the switch is here. Once your tank is full, your hot water tank is full. That's very important that your, your hot water tank is full and flushed. You can turn your switch on here. When you switch this on, the light will come on. The hot water heater will ignite. And then as soon as the ignition portion of it's over and the hot water heater is running, this light goes right back off again. So don't let that confuse you. If this light is off, it doesn't mean the hot water heater necessarily is turned off either. But light will come on, it'll ignite, and then the light will go back off and you'll hear the hot water heater kick on. You'll hear a, a little roar 
Right now we don't have propane turned on to this camper, unfortunately, but it's trying to relight because the propane is not going. So if this light keeps coming on and off, on and off, that means your propane tank is not open or you're out of propane. So open your propane tank, turn your electrical system on to the camper, turn your switch on, this light will light up, hot water heater will light up, you'll usually hear that. It takes 10 to 15 minutes to get hot water. When you're done with your system, if you're not using this, just go ahead and shut it off. It's a good idea to keep that off when you're not, not needing it. This is the flush mount sink in one of our pop-up campers. We have two styles of sinks. This sink has a mixer valve, so it has hot, hot and cold here. Our normal sink will have faucets over here, hot and cold. But what you would do for at this point, water tank's full, water valves are in the right position. You're gonna turn on your water pump, which the switch is on the front of the kitchen cabinets down here. And open this up. I'm gonna start with cold. Cold water system flushes out pretty quickly. I purposely left the cap on the outside of the camper connected just to show customers what's happening in here. If you don't take your gray water cap off outside, your sink's gonna start filling up inside. So for customers just using their camper for the first time, it's kind of a common thing where sink will fill up and they're wondering why the sink tank, sink drain is clogged. It's not clogged, your cap is on on the outside. Go outside, take that off. So the cold water system is flush. There's no air coming out of it. To fill the hot water system, you're gonna move your valve up to the hot or on the other sink, your cold water valve would be here. Shut that off and then open your hot water valve. This air coming out of here right now is the hot water tank filling. So we have a 20 gallon freshwater tank on board and a six gallon hot water heater. The six gallon hot water heater is filling up right now. So the valve needs to be in the hot position and open so the air can come out and the tank will fill. As the hot water heater gets full, this will start flowing smoothly. I'm just gonna let that go and I'm gonna go outside and open my sink cap while that's happening. I'll be right back. Hot water, a couple minutes, it's probably two, three, four minutes has gone by. Water tank for the hot water system is filling up now. Almost full, bleeding out just a little bit of air bubbles. So I all swivel this back and forth, cold, up to the hot side again. It's got a smooth, steady flow to it. That means the water tank is full, the hot water tank is full. The air is bled out of the water system, and then you can go ahead and turn it off. On the front of the kitchen cabinets is your water pump switch. Just turn that pump switch off. Close your sink, and other than turning on your hot water heater when you want hot water, the system's ready to go. Tank's full, sink drains in here, water pump's off, and everything's ready to go.